In today's health alert, a new Alzheimer's drug may soon be available to millions of Americans living with the disease. An advisory panel to the FDA unanimously agreed that Biogen's treatment drug Lacanamab showed clinical benefit and slowed con cognitive decline. So our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandy, has the details. And, and Doc, this vote, it paves the way for regulatory approval of this drug. Could this be the game changer? Yeah, I'm hoping so, right? You know, 6.5 million Americans, Brian, have Alzheimer's. Some of the early signs include problem with memory, difficulty thinking, and trouble with language and completing familiar tasks. For me personally, I see the impact of Alzheimer's every day on a regular basis with patients and some family members can be very challenging for both the patients and their families. And that's why I'm so glad that the phase three study showed that lecanemab is beneficial for slowing cognitive decline. Now right now, lecanemab is restricted and only patients in the clinical trial are those who can afford $26,500 a year, that's a lot, can access the drug. It's a monoclonal antibody given by intravenous, by IV infusion on a bi-weekly basis. And how it works is it binds to these things called amyloid plaques and removes these sticky plaques from the brain. Now the clinical trial included 897 people who were randomly assigned to two groups. One group, Brian, was given the new treatment and the other was received the placebo. And after 18 months, researchers found that this drug slowed disease progression by at least 26%. That's huge. Yeah, very. Um we can't talk about a drug like this, though, without talking about side effects. There are some severe ones with this. 100%. And so some of the side effects that we have in the lecanemab group, uh, the most serious ones, were reactions to the intravenous infusions and caused brain swelling and bleeding seen on MRIs. Now, the swelling and bleeding are called ARIA, A-R-I-A, short for amyloid-related imaging abnormalities. And sometimes it can be life-threatening. Data showed 17%, one seven, uh, participants had brain bleeding and 13% had brain swelling. In the placebo group, it was 9% had brain bleeding and 2% had brain swelling. However, these side effects tended to happen early during treatment and were resolved by three months. But anyone who gets this treatment needs to be closely monitored, that's important. Now, a decision from the FDA regarding full approval is expected in early July. Not everyone will be a candidate. Why? The treatment was initially granted to those with mild dementia or cognitive impairment, and there is a registry mandate for lecanemab. And while registries are important because they gather real-world evidence, not everyone, including patients and providers, will want to be on those registries. But overall, this is great news because this is, the, to me, for patients, the most scariest disease that they have. And if we can make some inroads in slowing it down and give people years of, of a meaningful life, that's tremendous. And I think when something like this happens, we kind of need to retrain our brain that we're not in emergency use authorization mode anymore. Exactly. So it's Good gonna point. take a little bit longer. Yeah. Exactly. All right, Dr. Nandy, grateful as always. Hey, Thank my you. pleasure. If you have a health question for doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.